What's up, y'all? I know it's been a fat little minute since I posted anything on this channel, and that's because I've been busting my balls down in southern Louisiana doing some wetland delineations. Um, it was an absolute fucking trip. Uh, I really don't venture that far east ever. I'm kind of a desert rat, so just completely different environment. So fucking humid, so many spiders, uh, poison ivy out the ass. I mean, that's what we're working with here. Some nasty little poison ivy crusty shit all over my fucking face. It was, it was ridiculous. I went a whole month completely unscathed, and the second to last day out in the field, this shit happened, but uh, we're getting over it. Anyhow, um, I'm back home, and I'm currently getting ready to go on a little trip. So where am I going, you might ask? Well, uh, me and some friends are packing up for an entire week, headed out tomorrow, and we're going to head westward into the Big Bend region, do some cut shining, some road cruising, and then we're going to head out even further westward into uh, the Sonoran Desert and do some of the whole Sky Island shit. Um, so look forward to some of the content that I'll be creating over the next week and we'll hopefully put out uh, within a month. At, at most, hopefully, at most. I don't want to keep y'all waiting any longer than you've already waited for this video. Uh, so in the meantime, I hope you enjoy this little video that I put together of some of the snakes I managed to find while on the clock in Louisiana. Um, just a little note, um, a lot of these finds are like a couple days in between or, you know, a day after, whatever. Um, I didn't get to make a lot of content out there just because I was working so fucking hard, really early mornings and long days, and the terrain is just very inhospitable. So I was super exhausted a lot of the times and didn't get to go out herping or do much road cruising, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, like I said, I managed to turn up a couple species of snakes um, on the clock. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this little video of uh, some of Southern Louisiana's uh, finest snake species. It's uh, six in the morning. It's the start of my work day. Came out to grab something from my car and I think we got a little uh, squirrel tree frog here. If I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong. Like I said before, I don't know my frogs all too well, but uh, yeah, really cool that it chose me. I'm chosen, bitch. But I'm gonna get him off here before he flies off, so, and I gotta start work. Fly for tan racer, out of here delineating wetlands. Sick. Go on. We got this little three-toed box turtle looking like he was uh, munching on that there slug pretty sick this is a lifer for me beautiful specimen all right got some photos with this guy and gonna let him go on his way dude crawled right towards me and is now digging under my leg. How adorable. Still out here in Louisiana doing some wetland delineations. And got the life for Eastern Copperhead here. He's coiled up, taking a little afternoon snooze. He's been real cooperative. Moved a couple of the pine needles around just to get some better footage and photos. But like I said, Really hasn't moved much except for the uh, the little periscoping action here, but pretty fucking sick. Gonna leave it be here and get back to work. Still out here delineating wetlands in Louisiana. This and I decided to look in this little hole here and uh, got ourselves a little eastern mud turtle. Tucked back in there. I know it's not the best shot, but that's what it is. I swear to God. 1230. We can always just save it and then come back and start editing the same feature if we want to keep it going with that um, that right of way that was down yeah. here. Finish it off tomorrow. Yeah. I agree. Let's go do it. At least okay. we should at least get our two. I was just staring into the sun. That's probably not good for my eyes, but like I did it and it didn't hurt that bad. Pretty fucking neato. 
first live cruise snake here in Louisiana. It's a pretty decent size decays brown snake. Definitely not like a super awesome find, but first one I've seen here in Louisiana. And like I said, first live cruise. Uh, I've already cruised several DORs. I went cruising last night and uh, got a handful of DOR uh, water snakes and a DOR rat snake, but um, yeah, here's a live one for everybody. Decay's brown snake. I'm gonna get this guy off the road and uh, continue cruising. Next snake of the night is a very familiar face here. Got a, uh, golly, why isn't this focusing? Got a little obsoletus here, Western Rat. The first live one I've seen here in Louisiana. Not super pretty out here, but you know, a snake's a snake's a snake. Oh my God, I'm getting all kinds of bugs in my ear. It's disgusting. Um, yeah, Rat Snake, kind of sick. I'm gonna let this guy go in the direction he was headed here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to keep at it. Hopefully we'll get a mud tonight. Peace. Just cruised up on this young banded water snake here. He's been super chill. Hasn't even tried to bite. Not even musked. He hasn't really writhed around too much. I think that's the right word. You know, I picked him up and he wasn't like super squirmy like most water snakes are. So he's been really, really cooperative. Probably one of the best banded water snakes I've encountered uh, during my time here in Louisiana. I've already seen a number of them just on the job site, but haven't had the chance to get any content with them. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm getting absolutely massacred by mosquitoes right now. And then uh, I've also cruised a few since I've been here, but uh, they're really quick to slither off the road and very uncooperative. But uh, like I said, this guy's been an absolute gentleman the whole time. So, oh my God, I am just getting eating alive right now. So uh, yeah, here's a banded water snake. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, release him back in the direction he was headed here. Uh, stay off the road, buddy. Get on, get on out of here. Still out here in Louisiana, delineating some wetlands. Had a little bit of time off, so I figured I'd do some herping. And I got a little cotton mouth, just kicking it right there. I'm gonna get a little bit closer and see what he's about. Here's a little up close and personal of that cotton mouth. I've already taken a couple of shots and he's been super cooperative as you can see, hasn't even moved an inch. The only thing he's been moving is uh, that infamous mouth. And I really wanna get a shot of it with the, the mouth agape, but um, I don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, if I go like that. Anytime that I move, he opens his mouth and then immediately closes it. So, we'll see. Maybe I'll get the shot, maybe I won't. But uh, if not, that's okay. I won't be too mad about it. I'd really like to just leave this guy here un as undisturbed as I possibly can. So, I'm going to spend another minute or two with him, get some more photographs, and uh, continue my search for snakes on the clock. <laughs> Man, I finally got a clear shot of a mud turtle. Sweet. Alright, little guy. Sorry to bother you. Get back to work. Another day on the clock. I'm uh, creating a polygon around a wetland right now. So much fun. So much fun. Anyhow, this big old moth just caught my eye. Just look at the size of this thing. Uh, let's see. 
Oops, sorry, buddy. That's pretty big. That's a pretty big moth, okay? That is a pretty big moth. There's a little force perspective going on there, but yeah, right there. That's a pretty big fucking moth. Very sick. Really digging the colors. Not entirely sure what species of moth this is, but you know, I'll put it like, I don't know, like right there. Right here when I figure it out. Or maybe right there. I don't know. I'll put it somewhere. Either way, really dope. I don't want to disturb this guy. He's just kicking it. Oh shit, actually, it looks kind of fucked up there. That don't look too good, buddy. But, uh, yeah, like I said, just gonna let this guy do his thing and get back to doing my thing. On my final days of the delineation here in Louisiana, just doing this little wetland here. My, uh, my crew lead was walking ahead of me. He's down there now. He walked most of this and said, I didn't see any snakes. Well, I came over to this little pond here and we got two banded water snakes here. There was a third, but uh, he went down that hole there. And I get why he didn't see them because when I first got here, they looked just like this. They look like just little leaves in the in the pond but i knew i knew what they were where are you going little guy look at that little juvenile banded water snake pretty cute get out of here and what about you little guy that's pretty cute that's pretty cute all right you get out of here too i gotta get back to work and thus concludes my time in Louisiana. It was real, and it was fun, but it wasn't real fun. To wrap things up, please enjoy this curious little ground skink, and I'll see you on the next one.